Today I'm learning, we're gonna show you how to do a super speed effect that looks something like this. I feel, I feel like I could run really, really fast. Whoa! Whoa! Whew. That was quite an experience. I'm Bobby. I am Brent. And you're watching. Look at this. Learning with Bobby and Brent. All right, Bobby. So what are we working on today? We're doing a little something something, a little fancy effect, a fancy boy effect, or girl, fancy boy or girl okay. effect, called super speed. Ooh, like the flash. Like right. flash. Don't finish it. Yeah, so today we have this uh, footage of our buddy Nick here. Nikolai. Nick's in the background working on some top secret information. Yes, exactly. And we uh, we stole him aside right here, for a little bit. here he looks like he's singing some opera. Yeah, look at that. He's oh. All right, so we have footage here of our friend Nick, and uh, let's let's check it out as it is, as it stands. Sure. I feel I feel like I could run really really fast. Whoa. It's a little lame at the moment. Yeah, so we have to make it cool. Yeah. So basically, what we did is we took Nick and we went outside, and uh, we we got this one shot of him standing in front of the camera, mm -hmm. and then we got a, a shot in between of. Nothing, just a still shot yep. of the background. Okay. And the third shot is him at a further distance reappearing. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this still shot in between and create a nice motion blurry effect where Nick appears to go at super speed from in front of you to far away. Point A to point B. So here we have two sound effects, swoosh and swoosh one. So we actually got these effects off of the Creator Studio on YouTube. Uh, right. If you have a YouTube channel, you can access these audio library sound effects royalty free from YouTube. So nice. really helpful. We're going to start by filling in these blank spots here where Nick is going to be tr zooming. transferring from zooming. point A to point B. Zoom, so let's zoom, zoom. get right into this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take Nick and we are going to cut out a section that fits about the same length as this little clip right here. Okay. So about that much. And we're going to alt click and drag to a different layer. We're going to go to our effect controls. Okay. And we're gonna take the opacity pen tool. And basically we're just gonna take him and we're gonna create a nice little mask here. So basically this is going to cut Nick out from the background and we can be pretty, you know, broad with our strokes here. We don't have to be too worried about, you know, exact detail. Different strokes for different folks. Different stroke, yeah, I like that, you know. <laughs> there we have basically our Nick and what we're going to do with this is we're going to take it and we're gonna go into our effects browser. We're gonna search directional blur. We're gonna take the effect and we're going to drag it right onto our video of Nick. Boom. So if we go down to our effect and increase the blur length, you can see that Nick and only Nick is becoming blurred. Mm. So it's kind of cool. Interesting. Now what I don't like about this is the uh, harshness of the lines. Those hard edges. The hard edges, we don't like that. So we can actually take our mask and, and feather it. Oh yeah, there we go. That really does a lot to, to help the That's effect. more like it. So now let's take the direction angle and we'll put it basically at 90 degrees so that Nick can Look like he's blurring side cool. to side. For our mask, we've made the mask feather uh, around 160 here. You can see that when the shot changes, Nick very quickly becomes blurred and then reappears up here. Okay, so one thing that you'll notice is that the background changes a little bit, the light changes. Mm -hmm. And that's because we're outside, the sun wants to do whatever it wants to do. Mm -hmm. So we're actually going to add some crossfades in between our background video, just some really short one frame cross crossfades so that it looks a little bit more fluid. Well, now we need Nick to basically appear and have a similar directional blur happening over here. Okay. So the way we're gonna do that is we're going to do something similar to the first one. We're gonna grab this small clip here, alt drag up, and we're going to create another mask around Nick. Okay. Now we're going to take our directional blur in our other effect, copy it, go to our other video and paste it. And it's a little bit different because we're at a further distance. So we're probably going to want to take the blur length down a bit. 
maybe something like that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now we can make it the effect pop with some sound effects. So let's go to our swoosh here and we'll take a small section, nice little swoosh, and maybe we'll do a crossfade. Yeah, do a little, yeah, there we go. To have it fade out quickly. Okay, so we have that sound effect. We have this other swoosh effect here and we're gonna take that and we're gonna sort of combine these two sound effects. All right, so let's do the same thing here and apply a crossfade and there we have it. Nick is speeding away. That's it for this tutorial. Uh, check out our other tutorial next week on we're going to do a similar effect with vibrating uh, hand. So Nick is going to be have a super fast arm and he's going to be like, what? What's going on? Ah. Oh my God. So, I can't believe it. So that's it for this week's episode. I'm Bobby. I'm Brent. And you're watching Learning with Bobby and Brent. And he Persis. comes back to the front. Cool. So. <laughs> I, like this. I like that still bringing me out of him for a second there. He's like, yo. He's like, what would do? It's like mm. it looks like the start of a new dance. Mm. We should make a gift of this. Oh my god! Do the nick. Do the nick. Do the nick. You do, do the nick. nick. You do. The oh, nick. we're making a gift of this, I, and we're making a uh, song. Nick, too. nick, you are becoming a gift, my friend. Do you, you know, know that, Nick? Do the nick. You're becoming a gift. Do the nick. Do the nick. Do the nick. Do the nick. I do like it. Nick. I like the dance move. The it's nick. just like this. Do the nick. Dude, nice Nick. open close. I love it. All right, love so it. we're gonna get into that after. It's another great Nick gift there. Yeah, another. Mo you get some serious moves there, Nick. Yeah, Nick. Oh yeah, do the he's Nick. He's doing like do the, the lawnmower. Like do the Nick. He's no. Yeah, he's pulling the. Do the Nick. You do the Nick. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a di disco move. Oh oh, I like that. Look at it. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. That move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I just found this. It's a new energy drink. It's called R&P. All right, what does that stand for? Rats and pickles. It's a little weird, but uh, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I supposedly it gives you really, really good energy. All right, well, let's, I mean, I mean, how's it taste? Figure it out. Chug it. I can, I can taste the rats a little bit. Okay. But uh, not so much pickle. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. Are you all right, dude? This feels super weird. Yeah, oh, I might. I don't think I'm gonna have a sip of that. What? I feel, I feel like I could run really, really fast. Whoa! That was 